This is Gemara and Ksubis Daf Alamid. As we go headstrong into this third paragraph of Ksubis, which we began yesterday, we pick it up on the top of Alamid Amin Aleph. We're holding five lines from the top. I apologize, we pulled up a dot short. We are in the middle of giving practical difference in Shivan Atemani and Rishim Menasya in regards to the din of the Mishnah. The din of the Mishnah that if someone is Ma'anes, a woman, if someone forces a woman to have relations in the din of a kenas, chamishim kesev, a special kenas that someone has to give, and we're discussing when the kenas is applicable or not, according to Shimon Atemani and Roshim Minasya. So we finished yesterday learning that the practical difference between the two of them was maybe Nayu, five lines on the top of Gim, of Lamed Amin Aleph, we can be now, Be'ula Lekayin Gadol, was a Be'ula Lekayin Gadol, this is the words we did not read, I apologize. What is the difference of the Asei She'ina Yishav Be'kol, and the reason that there's going to be a difference Meaning, and the Gemara is asking you, my Shana, why? When Abu Lakan Gadol is any difference? Why don't we say that according to Rabbi Yeshiva, which again was the whole Cheshvan from yesterday, so we should have said this last time, why according to Rabbi Yeshiva, don't we say that the Kedushan does not take effect? Explains the Gemara that even Rabbi Yeshiva will agree in this case. Why? Because of the din and the Torah, the mitzvahs I say that says that Abu Ula, a woman who had relations, is not allowed to marry a Kain Gadol, is an Asay She'ein Shava Ba'akol, and that is the reason why in this case even Rav Yeshevav is going to agree, and that's why this is going to be a case in which we can find in Afkamina a practical difference between Shimon Ateimani and Rav Shimon ben Menasya. But after the whole lengthy discussion of yesterday, now comes on the Gemara, and the Gemara flips it. We're looking for differences between the two, but now comes on Rav Chista, and I'm Rav Chista, seven lines from the top. Hakol Moidim. Everyone agrees. Shimon Ateimani, Rav Shimon ben Menasya, they're both going to agree that what? Bebal Hanida. If someone is forces a Nida, someone rapes a woman who is a Neither that she's menstruating, kenas, that there will be a kenas in that case. Why? And this is actually a beautiful chazar from yesterday. according to Shimon Atimani, Yeshba Havayo, because there's such a woman, you're able to marry a Nida, Yeshba Havayo. Kedushin takes effect. Back Bizmat Chazal was a fairly common occurrence that a woman would be a Nida at the time of marriage. Nowadays, due to medications, etc., it's not as common, but it works. If someone is Makadish and Isha, who is a Nida, it works. Of course, they can't sleep together, etc. But the Kedushin is Chao, so according to Shimon Atimani, there'll be a Kenas in this case. Why? Yesh Bahavaya, Hanam Yesh Bahavaya, Laman Dama, according to Shimon Menasya, it says, Ruya Lekaima has to be a woman who's fit to stay married to. Then, of course, an Ida Zanam Ruya Lekaima is fit to stay married. And this is going to be a case, says Rav Chista, that everyone will agree if someone is Ma'ani, so a woman who is an Ida, there will be the special Kenas that one has to pay. But explains the Gemara. Explains the Gemara that not only is our Mishnah not going according to Shimon Atemani and Rav Shimon Menasya, which was yesterday's discussion. If you remember, we said as Yula Fuke, the Mishnah is coming to exclude from Shimon Atemani and Rav Shimon Menasya. Says the Gemara today, Yula Fuke, ten lines down, Midram the Chunya Ben Akana. Our Mishnah that says that when there is a Kenas, there is a fine, even in cases of Kares. Says the Gemara is not like Rav Nachunya Ben Akana. The Tanya Rav Nachunya Ben Akana. He says, "Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, Shabbos, the Tashlumim." What does that mean? Ma Shabbos, Mischayiv, and Asher, but the Min Tashlumim. We know the din. Kim lay but the Rabbi binei. If someone is Machal Shabbos, and within the act of Chul Shabbos, he incurs an act of monetary payment. For example, he burns down someone else's house. So he was Machal Shabbos. He lit a fire, but he also caused the guy a million dollar loss. The Allah is Mischayiv ben Avshoi. Your Chayiv Misa Potter Min Atashlumim. You don't have to play. Says of Shimon. The says from the Chani ben. Excuse me, Aviyamekipura Meschayim Ben Asher Bater Minat Hashlumim, and this is not like our Mishnah, because in our Mishnah, some of the women in the list were women that actually incurred kares. That by being with them, one is obligated kares, and yet we're saying there's a chi of kenas, there's a monetary payment. So we see that the Mishnah is not going with them the Chani Ben Akana, because according to the Chani Ben Akana, one more time, any time one is liable to the death penalty, he's Potter from payment. The Mishnah clearly does not say like that, but explains the Gemara. My time there from the Chani Ben. Where does the Chani of Ben get this din that Yom Kippur is the same din as Shabbos? And just like by Shabbos, we came with your Amine that if you're Chayav Misi, you're part of from payment. So to an Yom Kippur, Amar Abay and Amar Asain be the Adam and Amar Asain be the Shemayim says from the Chani Ben Akana explains Abayu that the word Asain is written both by Bisa be the Shemayim and Misa be the Adam. Man Asain Amar be the Adam part of Min Dashlum. Just like Asain, the word fatality that 
said, by Misa B'day Adam comes along with a Ptur and exemption from payment. If there's ever a case that Bezdin is obligated to kill someone, Bezdin has to incur the death penalty, then that person does not pay. When it comes to Yom Kippur, that it's not Misa B'day Adam. By Chil Shabbos, we do Skila. We take the guy, bring him out three stories, throw him off the cliff, throw the rocks and have him. Misa B'day Adam. But says from the Chani Ben Akana, the same Drusha links it, a sign, a sign to Yom Kippur. On Yom Kippur, we don't give Skilo. Yom Kippur's Misiv Dei Shamayim is Kares, but it will carry with it the same Petur Minat Asum, and one will be exempt from paying. So it says the Gemara today, in addition to yesterday's discussion in which we saw that the Mishnah is not going with Shimon Atimani and Shimon Minasya, says the Gemara today, the Mishnah is not going with them, the Chani Ben Akana, because in the Mishnah, even though there's an obligation of Kares, of Misiv Dei Shamayim, death by heaven, still there is a penalty of a monetary payment of the Kanask. Maskif, la Ravada Barava, about 10 lines from the bottom, first one line is Maskif, Mimai. How do you know what you're saying is accurate? The Chika Mizarlu Yaakov Libaneho. How do you know that when Yaakov warned his children, when the Pasik says Asain, that was the one of the Psukim was Yaakov warning his children regarding Binyamim. How do you know? Al Sin Mupachim, Tibide Shemaim, they knew. How do you know that Yaakov Avinu was warning his children? He ensure that my son Binyamim does not get killed, he ensure that he doesn't have a form of death of sinem ubach and cold and heat Dilma, Allah Yevagan, you got to be the Adam Ninu. Maybe what Yaakov Avinu was warning his children is be careful to what? Be careful to man, be careful to Ganavim and lions, which is Misa Bide Adam. So you're trying to link Asayna Asayna, Misa Bide Adam to Misa Bide Shamayim. How do you know? Maybe Yaakov Avinu is also referring to a form of Misa Bide Adam. He's referring to making, telling his children, ensure to bring back Binyamin and don't allow have human intervention. And not heavenly intervention. We thought that the boss is referring to a heavenly intervention. And therefore we have a Xer Shava Asain Asain. But ask the Gemara, how do you know? Maybe Yaakov Avinu is telling his kids to be careful of Misa Bidei Adam. It replies the Gemara to Yaakov Aha is there Hala is there? Yaakov Akomili is there? Yaakov's warning about everything. And therefore we have a Joshua Asain Asain to teach it just like Misa Bidei Adam Skila as a Ptur from Tashlumim. So to Misa Bidei Shamayim. But now, what did Rav Adi Barava just say? He said an interesting line that perhaps irked people a little bit. The Gemara said a moment ago that Sinamu Pachim, cold and heat, that's quote unquote from heaven. But lions and, and Ganavim and robbers, that's Bidei Adam. Them, which is interesting. What exactly does that mean? That getting sick from the cold and the heat and dying is from God, but get, getting killed by a lion is not. So now the Gemara delves a bit into that point. Are you telling me that cold and death, cold and heat in order to harm a person is only from heaven? famous Everything is the end of heaven. Aside for cold and heat, it's Called and hot of the path of the of the ikish of the one who's messed up. Shoimer Nasha, watch your soul from what you're talking about a distance from them. So what do we see? We see that one is in control of the Sinu Mubachim. It's not up to heaven. Put on a coat, it's up to yourself. And two, and furthermore, ask the Gemaria. Arya Vagan Vid Adam, the flip side. What did you say? That lions and robbers, that's with the Adam. That's man intervening, Ninu. Explains the Gemara three lines to the bottom. Even though the Sanhedrin is no longer, there's still the Dal of Misa is passing. So ask the Gemara, Ari and Ganavi, what? Says the Gemara, one second, Laibilu, Habilu, what do you mean the Dal of Misa is not Batel? That the four deaths of Sanhedrin are not Batel? Of course they are. There's no more Sanhedrin that gives Kila, Sriva, Harrigan, Chanak. Ella, you know what the price means, and this is going to explain what our din was talking about. Din Arba Misa is like Balu. The din, the halacha, the law of the Dal Misa was never nullified. Meaning what? Explains the Gemara. Lamed of Abay is the top line. Misha Neschayiv Skila. Oy Neifel Menagago Chayiv Der Sasai. If so, Rachmano Litzan is Machal Shabbos, so he's Chayiv Skila. So Bezdin doesn't give it to him nowadays. You know what happens? He'll fall off a roof, or a lion will eat him up. Misha Neschayiv Sreva. If someone is obligated burning. A snake will bite him, and the venom killing him is a type of death by heat. Death. He will be given over. 
beheading by the government, or list in bond of robbers, Mishnah's chayv chanek strangulation, or to veyab an arul choke, or meis bisar, or meis bis runki, or will die by runki, which is a type of disease in which one cannot breathe. So what do we see at the end of this brisa? We see that when it comes to arye veganvi, when it comes to lions and bandits, is that bidei adam or is that bidei shemayim? It's clearly bidei shemayim. Says the Gemara that the dal and misa is bezdin are still around in what? form that God takes care of you via Ganav and via Aryeh. So how could Rav Adda Barav on on the bottom teach us that Aryeh, Viganvi, lions and bandings are a form of death? Bidei Adam! Meaning it's a twofold question we just asked. Number one, Tzinim Upachim, cold and heat. You said that's Bidei Shamayim. What do you mean? We not call Bidei Shamayim. Chut Mi'ira Shamayim. It's in your hands to make sure you don't get sick with cold and heat. Question number one, we see it's Bidei Adam. Question number two is you said that lions and Robbers, is be they all dumb? That's not true. We see it's be they shamayim. Says the Gemara, flip it around. You have two questions. Each one answers the other. El April, flip it around. Are you a god of the shamayim? The lions and the robbers, that's in the form of heaven. That's a sham paying you back when a dollar meets his best. And via the messenger of a lion or a robber. And that is how we're answering up Ravad Barava from Oven Ahmed Aleph. And now, how do we get into Rav Adabarava looking for a source of Nechunya ben Akana? Was Rav Nechunya ben Akana? That was Amr Aleph, which the Gemara said, our Mishnah is not like Rav Nechunya ben Akana. The Mishnah said there is a din of Kenas. When is there a din of Kenas? Even by Chayvei Kareis, that even though one is liable to death by heaven, he still has to pay the monetary payment. The Gemara said, that's not like Rav Nechunya ben Akana, because Rav Nechunya ben Akana taught us that Yom Kippur is like Shabbos. That Yom Kippur, when there's curry, he's a potter, you from payment. Like Shabbos, his kilo potter, you from payment. So Rav Omar, a second source from the Chani Ben Ekonah, time of the Chani Ben Ekonah, Mehacha, he lines down, Lamed Amid Bey, says the Apostle, Behelim Yalimu, that if the people turn away their eyes, Amaretz, and say, Neem their eyes, Mina Isha, who from that man, Besitai Mezari Lamalech, when he gives over his children to Melech to the void of Zara, and they don't kill him, meaning they don't punish the person who serves his idol. And the Apostle continues, Zamti Ani Esbene Yoish, and I, Hashem, am going to put my attention, Ahu, Bimishachtoy, and that man, his family, Vechrati Yoisai, and I will cut him off. I will cut him off. This is Kari, Hashem saying, if you don't take care of one who's Ivan of a Dezara, you don't give him Skila, I, God, will take care of him. I'm going to give him Kares. So, Amra Taira, so what's the Taira teaching us? Kares Shali speaks Hashem, my Kares is Kemisa Shalachem, is like your death by. Stoning, ma misa shalachem batim and tashlumim. So explains him the chanim ben akana. Just like when Bezdin kills someone via misa, it potters is exempt from payment. Av kari shali. So to my kares, potter mina tashlumim, and that is the second source. For Ram Nachunya ben Akana, the second source, this is Rava's source. That where does he learn it from? He learns from the Pasik that teaches us that Hashem is saying, My form of Kharis is like your Bezdin's form of killing. So we see that we're equating the two. So just like when there's Misa Bidei Adam, Skila of Shabbos, one is going to be Pata from Dashlumim. So too, if there's death by heaven of Kharis, will Pata from Dashlumim. So I asked the Gemara, Maika bin Rava Labayo. We had two different ways of learning of Nachunya ben Akana. We had Rava just teaching me that it's Hashem's Kharis is like Bezdin Skila. We had Amr Aleph, we had Abayah's way of learning. Says the Gemara, Abayah's way of learning that the Yom Kippur payment is similar to the Shabbos, that just like Shabbos, Patr from payment is sold to Yom Kippur. What's the difference between the two? Explains the Gemara, Yom Kippur, Zar Sha'eichel Chuma. A Zar, a non kohen who eats Chuma. A non kohen is not allowed to eat Chuma. And if he does, what is the punishment? The punishment is a Misa Bidei Shamayim. Explains the Gemara, Le'abayah Patr. According to Abayo, he's going to be Pater. Le Rava Chayiv. According to Rava, he's going to be Chayiv. Now, why is this true? Let's look at Rashi for a moment. Rashi put eight lines into narrow lines. Rashi explains, Darsha Yechel Chuma, be amazing. The Allah is Misa Bidei Shemayim and not a Kari. So, Labayo, you're going to be Pater from payment. Why? Because Abayo learns out from Asa in Bidei Shemayim, Chol Asa in Bim Asha, Bim Misa Bim Karis. Abayo and Amad Aleph learned out from Asa in. Remember, Yaakov Avinu warning his children. And Asa in a fatality is including all types of death by heaven. Not only the Kari's 
increased type of death by heaven, like we spoke out yesterday, is someone who dies suddenly, is someone who dies between the age of 50 and 60. But any form of Mizah B'day Shemayim, so according to Abayah, is this included in a Mizah B'day Shemayim? Yes! So if a Zari, it's Chuma, he's put from payment. Whereas according to Rav, it's not true. According to Rav, it's a specific din of Bita Lazari, a specific din of Kares. Since here is not Kares, it's going to be no exemption from payment. Ask the Gemara, really? Ula Abayah, Potter? Are you telling me that according to Abayah, there's no payment over here? Rav Rav Chis, Tamar Nechon Ben Akan, Rav Nechon Ben Akan, and it's been going to help with Shechav Eir, if someone steals the forbidden fats, the chela from his friend, Vachlan eats it, you chayiv, he has to pay for it. Why does he have to pay for it? He's chayiv kares from eating the chaylev. You know why? Shekvarn is chayiv b'gneva kodesh v'adi is her chaylev. When you picked up the item of your friend, you stole it. At that moment, you're chayiv on the monetary payment and you're only obligated kares later when you eat it. So you don't have kim leib the rabbi. You don't have two things happening simultaneously. One is first obligated the payment of the stealing and then he's obligated the death payment. So ask the Gemara, the same thing should be in our case. Alma, what do we see? In the, the Agbe Kanyo, when you pick it up, you make a Kenyan. You're not Chayev Misa, the death penalty, until you eat it later on. So I asked the Gemara Nabaye, Yochanam, you've been the Dagbe Kanyo, Meschayev and Ashlavi Ad Ochalei. So, to in our case, you're telling me a Zar Shalchal Chuma, a non coin that eats Chuma will be a case. That according to Abaye will be put from payment because they're Misa Bidei Shamayim. But says the Gemara, one second, when the non coin picks up the Chuma, that moment, boom, he has the monetary payment. Why does he have the monetary payment? Because right now he stole the truma from the coin. And he's only Chayim Misa when he eats it later on. Answers the Gemara, you're right. Tachamayaskina, what's our case? They forced the truma into the mouth of the non coin, and therefore the Gemara thinks right now this is a simultaneous Kenyan on the payment of the top monetary payment with the Chayim Misa for eating the truma. Saif Saif asked the Gemara, Kim Delasi, Kanya. When you chew up the chuma, you're chayiv. Meschayiv and Ashel have had the bala, and you're not chayiv death until you swallow the chuma. So it's not at the same time. So as the Gemara no, kion shetochav la tochav beis ablia, he shoves it all the way into your throat. Says the Gemara, one second, hechid dami, what's the case? E de matila dure nahander. If you're able to spit it up, you have to spit it up, and if you don't spit it up, that means the moment you swallow is the same moment of monetary payment and the same moment. Excuse me. And therefore, the only when you didn't spit it up, that's when it's going to be the monetary payment. If you can't spit it up, am I chayiv? Are you chayiv and do anything wrong? And with this, we conclude that the case over here is that one could potentially bring it up. It's very difficult. That's going to be the case. That at that point, why? Because at that point, it's disgusting when it's in your mouth. And therefore, even if you could spit it up, it's never going to be able to be used by the owner anymore. And and therefore, he's not going to be chayiv on the payment of the truma when he did not bring it back up. And therefore, it's all going to come at the same time. That's the case that Abai is going to hold that there's going to be a betor of tashlumim because it's going to be a kimlev dirabine at the moment that is swallowed. And Rapapa Amar, a similar kin, someone puts a liquid into your mouth, liquid you can't spit, you can't spit up once you're in your mouth, it becomes disgusting. That's going to be another case that Abai is going to hold is a kimlev dirabine at the same moment that he swallows. He's chayiv on the payment of the item that he stole as well as on the on the death penalty for the czar that Nan Koyin that eats a chuma. I'll pick it up for the third answer. Ravashi Bazar Shachal Chuma Mishaloi, the Kara Shirayim Shal Chaveroi. The third answer, Ravashi, we'll see tomorrow, is the case he's referring to. He eats chuma and then he rips the silk. He does two different actions. At the same time, he's swallowing the chuma, he's ripping a garment of his friend. So the moment he's Chayav Misa from swallowing the czar, the Nan Koyin eats the chuma, the moment he's Chayav Misa for swallowing it, at that precise moment, he's Chayav a monitor payment to his friend, that's going to be the case that Abayi is going to say this is a tour. We'll pick it up from here the next year. Amir Tzah